everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I know it's been a hot minute. I have been thinking of all of you, however, a lot. I've been thinking of Mary. I've been thinking of Linda K, Linda H, Cheryl T, Cheryl P, Tina, <laughs> Missy, um, Eleanor. I've been thinking of everyone. Um... And I'm just going through some things right now, but I will be posting videos again on a regular basis. Um, it's just right now I'm, I'm not able to do it on a regular basis. So anyways, I am doing a, an opening today for um, FGNormal.com. And I will have that below because um, it's not like a catchy dot com. So I will put that below and you'll have the link and you'll have the link to the product that I ordered. Um, so this is a company that sells cross stitch, paint by numbers, diamond painting, things like that. A whole, that whole kind of thing. Um, diamond painting accessories, stuff like that. So, anyways, I really enjoyed going through their cross stitch. If you remember, I um, have a cross stitch, my first cross stitch ever. I started there not too, too long ago, and like I needed another craft, <laughs> I'm now addicted. Now, what I like about this particular one is that it's small, I can do it in front of the TV. And watch sports while I am stitching. So it is, as opposed to my diamond painting, um, yeah, I, I usually have a large diamond painting on the go. And usually it has to be in my craft area. And uh, we're all, everything's set up for it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an unboxing from uh, FG Normal. And... This one here, I may have gotten carried away. Um, I I don't know whether I wasn't thinking when I chose this one, but I need to go back to my diamond painting. And when I first started diamond painting, I had a I started with a large diamond painting, large, and now. I find the smaller ones a little, uh, I find them a little boring actually. Um, so what I do is I do mostly large diamond paintings um, because that's what I started with. That's what I love and I'm okay with this being that's large. <laughs> Anyways, I took it from the outer layer, but let's take a look at what's what's inside. <laughs> so, what this is, is this. Gorgeous. Love it. Mario thinks it's beautiful, too. I love that. This is the canvas. <laughs> look how big it is. <laughs> Um, where does it start? I don't know. Where does it start? <laughs> I think it starts there. <laughs> it is huge, you guys. No, maybe it's this way. It's huge, whatever way it is. I don't know. I have to. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's I had to look for North America there to know where I was going. Um, and yeah, yeah. And then if that wasn't enough, <laughs> um, I got a 16 count and I've been trying to pick up, uh, like, I've been trying to t take a look at like 14 counts because it's kind of in between beginner and, and like true, like really you can start off with an 11 count and I think it's per inch. Like, uh, um, it's, it's, um, 16 
blocks per inch, I think it is. So yeah. Um, and I was, I've been doing 11s. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I might need to put a light board behind this one. Um, they are pretty, pretty small. But if I put a, a light board around it, it should not be a problem. See how small they are down here? Yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's okay though, because I'm just going to do it like a diamond painting and just take my time. I've told FG formal, uh, FG normal, you know, I can't do a whole, the whole project, um, for the second video that I'm going to do. I'm doing, I'm doing a little project video, project share video. I'm going to do a little bit of it, tell you guys what I think of it, um, and then probably put it away until I'm done the current one I'm on, or, uh, yeah, so, um, I've got diamond paintings lined up as well, and, uh, so I'm not surprised I now have cross-stitching lined up. <laughs> I didn't need another hobby, you guys. I didn't, and I wasn't intending it. I didn't think I would like it. I didn't know. And what I like, too, I'm going to get to, um, to the other things in the kit in a, in a second here. But I, what I like, too, is that um, uh, what was I going to say? That I can do it easily with my left hand because I and I'm very comfortable using my left hand. Um, I imagine it. I have a feeling that whatever hand they put my pencil in when I was like knee high to a grasshopper, that would have been the hand I used. It's I'm very comfortable using it. So the best thing is that I can use that, and I can use that for an extended period of time. Then I can switch over to my right for a while if I want to switch back. But I have a bag, a little um, cat bag um, that I keep all my stuff in. And I just take it out when I feel like it, put it back, so on and so forth. So um, keep in mind, my legs, uh, my hands are very, very um, painful. And this is why I can't complete a project really quickly, but um, yeah, I I do en enjoy the cross stitching, really enjoy it actually. And oh, and you've got all your numbers here. And this has also direct. So whatever whatever number. Um, this is not the color you're going to be getting. This is what's printed on the canvas to guide you as to the color that you need. So this, this is 35. So it guides you down to 35. And that is blue. And you're going to find the number on what I'm going to show you here. And that will be what you use for all the blue squares. So it's like diamond painting where you have actual symbols and numbers and things like this. The numbers, sometimes they put in the large sections so that it's just easier. You know which, which number you're going to use in those sections. Um, so for instance, all of this is red, so they just plop the number in there same with the blue all of this is blue but on um, some of the smaller ones really teeny ones sometimes you just have to follow the um the symbol however because they give you this this is important because sometimes you do have to count over and stuff like this i found that Sometimes it wasn't clear with the, um, I'm not talking about this kit, but I'm talking about a former kit that I've done. Um, I found that 
sometimes it just wasn't clear where one left off and the other didn't. So I just took out my trusty little map here and found out how many I had to do. And so like I had to do four uh, across. I knew I'd do four and keep on going from that. So anyways, what's in this kit? Look at this. Look at all the, all the, oh man, I am going to love this. I love big projects. I don't mind big projects that last like months on end. I don't, I don't mind that at all. First of all, what they give you in the um, kit, before I dig all those out, they give you doo -doo -doo, one of these, and it is to thread your needle, and I love it. I love these. I got one of these from another company that I like I went I went to the store and bought it and I love it it is fantastic I need one of these for I need one of these that work for my sewing machine because the things that I got do not work anyways then they send you a whole bunch of needles like five needles and they put it on a little thing isn't that cute what a great idea that was, eh? Little, they take a little, uh, just a little pom-pom um, and stick them through the pom-pom. I thought that was adorable. And then they have this that you can use just to push the needle in. I haven't had to use one yet, but that's a very good thing to send. Okay, so... These are our, all of our floss. Yeah. Woo. This is going to be fun. All of our floss. I just love going through it like that. I absolutely love it. Okay. So the key on this, you're going to have. Bear with me here for a sec. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, it's probably on this one. Yeah, so. So, on this one. So, just making sure. On this particular one, you go by the DMC number. So, I believe these are the same as diamond painting, uh, these numbers here. And 310 is usually black. So I can see, yeah, I can see that being black. Anyways, um, anyways, so these numbers here, no, these numbers, I should say, on this particular kit, other kits may be different. I have a kit right now. It goes based, it has a list of numbers. It does have the DMCs, but it doesn't use those to, so when you're looking up your thing, you look it up and it says do number three. Well, number three is 550 or whatever it is. And, but you're looking for number three. But and this one here, I believe it goes by the DMC. So, you're going to look, see what you want to do. So the 35, if I want to do it, I go all the way down 35, 35. Of course, I have to flip it over 35. So you're going to, it's all the blue. That's all the blue blocks. It's not the threads you're looking for. It's all the blue blocks on the, on the thing. This is the number I'm going to look for. So 5,200 is what I'm going to look for. Then you've got these on your floss. So 5,400, 5,400. Can I find it quickly? Why do we have to go quickly? We don't. Do we? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Hope you're still with me. Just trying to... Oh, 5,200. There it is. Okay, so if I pull the 5,200 out of here, it's going to be all white. Right there. That's the 5,200. So on the sheet, if we go back, they are making all the blue ones white. So it's going to be the kind of white outline. That's what I believe. Can I get the rest of them out? No. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of white. So, I might as well just pull them out. Um, yeah, so that's what you do in this particular instance. You go through the, and they have tags, which I like, um, because um, I want my floss separated. And I think I will separate floss from now on um, and put it on. I'm going to cut out with my Cricut um, some uh, things to wind it on. So I'll try to, to like, kit up like I do with my, um, with my uh, diamond painting. So you can see this is your... 3321 and stuff like that. So those are the numbers you're looking for. As you can see in this one, it's greens, it's beiges, it's browns, and it's going to be vintage, vintage, vintage. So yeah, I'm going to really, really enjoy doing it. And I think that's it. I will let you guys um, just check out that website. And in a few days, I will show you the progress I have made and um, and if I've had any issues or with any of the product or anything like that. Um, you know, on my channel, if if I review something, I review it. I, I don't. If it is if something's wrong, it is what it is. And I have to tell you so. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. I'll use the product, make sure it's all okay. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.